What's good, everybody? Rudd's here. We're going to do a uh, soap review this evening. Lather Brothers, Flora Colossus. Uh, this is by Lather Brothers, who's out of uh, South Florida, Miami, I believe. And um, they've been around for two years now. I think they just bust out into the soap market recently, maybe May or April of 2017, but they've been making soap quite a bit longer than that. Husband and wife duo, and uh, this Flora Colossus is inspired by the um, Guardians of the Galaxy character group. All right, that's about a 30 second load. So the scent strength on this soap right off the bat, I'll tell you, is light to mid. Um, I believe it's by design, maybe because of the scent notes, but it's it's certainly not a strongly scented soap. Uh, there's enough of it for you to smell and enjoy, but it's not gonna push through or last very long. So the scent itself is a fruity floral with notes of pear lily, lavender, and cedar. And uh, it's actually done quite well. Anytime you put lavender and cedar together, you, you typically have a winner in my books. The pear lily is uh, slightly sweet and fruity but it's not overwhelmingly fruity. The um, scent is a good scent. It's definitely reminiscent of, you know, a summery time scent. And uh, I think a lot of people will enjoy this scent. In terms of scents that are similar to it, um, Chatillion Lux, Catlin's Prairie comes to mind. And um, Phoenix and Bo Oberon. All right, let's talk about the performance here. So, uh, first thing to note is that when looking on the website, it seems that some of the soaps, um, depending on their scent, have different ingredients lists. Um, so, for baseline, I'll put the ingredients of this particular base down. And uh, we won't speculate as to any of the other bases. So, all in all, the soap performs good. It hits all the marks for cushion, slickness, post shave. Uh, it just doesn't excel at any of them. It's just kind of a A good artisan soap. Um, I'd be interested to see if different scents perform better because of the different ingredients in them. So I'll likely be uh, grabbing one with a different formula and uh, testing that theory here in the future. Overall, I would re compare the performance of this soap to um, soaps like Vanulay or um, Music City Soap Shop. All right, we're back, folks. Let's uh, get some of this Flora Colossus aftershave balm on. This came with the uh, set. It's kind of a thick balm. A little bit's going to go a long way, I think. The uh, the scent on this is the same as the soap. It's a bit light, but that's okay. It smells like there's also a, a touch of menthol in there. I didn't check the ingredients. Let's see. Yep, a little bit of menthol in there. So pretty good. Not very greasy soaked right into my skin. Lather Brothers Flora Colossus. Definitely want to uh, branch out and see what their other formulas are like. 
uh, well, this wasn't a great formula for me. It was certainly good. It protected me. I have no irritation. Um, it's just not, doesn't excel at anything in my opinion, but it's certainly not a bad lather. Um, I will caution you when you're loading the brush, um, don't hit it too wet. Um, if you hit it too wet right at first, it's going to give you a lot of sudsy, sudsy soap that won't actually, uh, turn into a nice lather. Get at it a little bit damp and, uh, I mean, excuse me, a little bit dry. Get that paste worked on your face then add the water slowly and you'll have no problem whipping up a, uh, a good lather from it. That's going to do it for this evening, folks. Comment below if you have anything to say. Thumbs up the video if you like what you see. And uh, as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. See ya.